Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now yesterday I did a vid on the T69 and for those of you who actually watched the video you'll know there was a massive mistake in there. I called it a heavy when actually it's a medium. Well today we're doing the next in the line. So yesterday was the T69, the little auto loader, the tier 8 medium tank on the American Tech Tree. This is the tier 9 auto loader, the little American medium tank at tier 9, the T54E1. This tank is pretty much like the little T69, insofar as it's got basically the same kind of parameters. It hasn't got the best armor. It's got pretty sluggish mobility, if I'm being honest, but it does have quite a nice gun. Okay, it's an auto loader which means it does have that problem when it does the changing between the drums or the magazines or whatever you want to call them. And this is the thing about this tank. You've got to, like I said with the T69, you can't put this thing on the front line. You can't really go rushing out there thinking that you're going to blast everything and your armor is going to protect you. You can't sit at the back and snipe in it either. It really is a second line support tank. And you've got to use that gun. I, I can't emphasize that enough. And I know it sounds like common sense. And I know it sounds like, well, it's a tank game. Of course, you've got to use the bloody gun. But what I actually mean is you've got to put yourself in a position that you're relatively safe yourself, but you've got shots on the enemy. Now, like the T69, this one only comes with two forms of ammunition. There's no HE. There is AP, your standard ammunition, and APCR. So you've got to be mindful of that. You know, you can't go rushing into things like waffle tractors or ball sigs or grills thinking that, oh, I can just HE roll them with my three with my three clip magazine. Because it ain't going to happen, guys. You know, HE doesn't exist on this tank. The other thing I see a lot of quite recently is everybody's in a rush. You can't really be in a rush in this tank. Because as I said in the T69 video, you've got to know the maps, you've got to know your escape routes, and you've got to play the tank slightly differently. You've got to play it a little bit more intelligently. And what you can see I'm doing here, if I could rush straight onto that E75, but I'm on my long clip. And I also know I'm not going to be able to clip him out. So again, I've got to be mindful of this. I can put an entire magazine into him, but I'm gonna leave him possibly as a one shot and he can turn around and really hurt me. So I've got to again, get out of dodge, relocate, wait for my magazine to reload. Once it's reloaded, then I can get back into the action. Somebody's taken him out. That's good because now I've got the E5, which is a chat from APA. Hello, Appa, goodbye, Appa. And this is the thing you've got to learn about these tanks. It's not about Rush, 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 rush. It's about being cool, being calm, and being collected. Now, you can't always do that in the game for various reasons. One, your team might decide to just do an iron fist through the enemy, number one. Number two, you're gonna get people shouting at you. Why are you camping? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Get involved, get involved. Don't play somebody else's game. Play your game. Know your tank, what it can and cannot do. And remember, this is vitally important, don't be bullied into doing something that you know you're not going to get away with. Because what would be the point in that? Now, here's a case in point in this game. They, they've decided to rush over the top into those three tanks. Now, we've got three of them there. We had an Indian Panzer, or I think it was an Indian Panzer, or a Panzer 58. We had a T-54, and we've got this T-26. Now, if you saw, I was taking shots at the Panzer 58 and the T-54. I wasn't interested in the T-26. Why? Because I think the Indian Panzer, or I think the Panzer 58 and the T-54 are far more dangerous. So I wanted them out of the game. Plus, they were lower hit points. I can always focus on the T-26 later. Now I'm going to take the long way around because I need my magazine to reload. There's no point in me taking the direct route, yellowing through the middle, getting to the battle when I've got nothing in the magazine. It's just not gonna work for me. You've got to be like this. Okay, I take a bit of a risk here, but I know the game is basically won. Um, 
you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this yo. There's only three yo's left. I'm gonna give this yo a hard time. I'm gonna try and track him. I'm gonna try and put shots into him. Now I'm gonna try and track him, leaving there as a one shot. Hopefully my tank will take him down. So it's three against three and a B3 against two very shortly. There we go. The uh, tier eight yo is gonna come rushing down. He's gonna put himself in a bad position because, you know, in his armor profile is not designed for what he's doing, but he's rushing in tunnel vision. I'm taking shots from the other yo. I know I can take one or two from him. The third one, maybe not, but I do, and I get away with it and somebody else kills him. And this is what you've got to remember with this tank. It's got a great gun. It really does have a great gun. It's got pretty good penetration. It's got a pretty good reload time being an auto loader, but it does have its issues. And those issues basically rely around the armor and its mobility. It's not the fastest medium out there. And you've got to give it a little TLC. You've got to make sure that you know your exit routes, you know where you can go all down, you know where you can hide, and you've also got to make calculated risks, which is what I'm doing here. To be honest with you, I was hoping the T62A would get involved and go and take out that object, but he's a little bit slow. And I, I, I didn't need to push around and take this shot I, you know, from the object. I could have waited for the T62, but he seems to be taking an eternity to get around there. Not his fault. He's a, he's a, he's a pretty newish player and uh, he eventually takes him but leaves me and I got lucky there I'm next to no hit points but now I'm just going to pop up and finish off the VK I like the T54E1 I think it's a beautiful little tank it's tricky it's not noob friendly but it's a beautiful little tank anyway I've been Fujit that has been the T54E1 comment and everything below and until the next time stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because again that is what it's all about having fun and being happy. And I'd just like to say Happy Independence Day to all my North American subs.